if you listen to the podcast that Brian Madden and I did uh, right after Windows 8 went uh, RTM, we uh, we basically spent a half an hour complaining, bitching about all the stuff that Windows 8 does that just seems kind of asinine when you're only using a keyboard and a mouse to access it. Uh, one of those things is the fact that it boots up directly into Metro. Um, this is annoying because as an enterprise user, I don't want to see this. I want to see the same thing I've been seeing. I want to have access to my applications and my icons and all the stuff that I'm used to seeing over the years um, and all the stuff that IT has been delivering to me. This is not some fancy home version of Windows 8. This is Windows 8 Enterprise right here, and it still is giving me uh, essentially what I don't want to see. Um, the other thing is that when you do finally figure out how to get to the desktop and, and pull up the desktop, there's no start menu here. So <laughs> I'm running this in parallels. And the hot corners ha on this happen to be the same uh, hot corners that I use in the Mac, except the thing is, is that I know what the hot corners do on my Mac. So there is no start menu here anymore. And that's a problem because users, again, have been trained to go there for almost 20 years now. So uh, we need a solution for that. And uh, I had lunch with a uh, Bryform speaker uh, and a friend of mine, Dan Brinkman, uh, last week and he told me about this tool called Classic Shell. You can get there by going to classicshell.sourceforge.net and when you're there uh, you can see this thing's whole purpose in life is to add a Windows start menu uh, to Windows 8 and actually it does this for other operating systems for Windows 7 and Windows XP and Vista and that too. I'm not sure entirely what the point of that is but, uh, uh, but for Windows 8 I get it. So I want to try this thing out. Um, I haven't done it before, so I figured I would just kind of record my first experience with it, uh, and we'll do this in a couple of minutes here. Uh, we'll, might as well just wait for it to download here. Um, and what the hell? We'll throw caution to the wind and just accept everything. Um, there we go. Next, next, next. Interesting. All right, well, whatever. I don't need to see the help file for that. Um, so here, it's installing a Classic Explorer, Classic Start Menu, Classic IE9. It'll auto-update, it looks like. Cool. So install, of course. Again, throwing caution to the wind here. This could be malware for all I care. I don't need to see a readme file. And look at that. We got a Start Menu. Oh, okay. We have to configure. Which one do we want? Windows Classic, XP, or Vista? Well, let's go with this one. And then it also, in theory, I think is supposed to boot us up directly to a desktop. So let's see. Oh, cool. We've got the shortcuts there. Control panels there. No search box. Skip Metro screen. Enable start button. Cool. I think it's already set up. So let's look at it now. Awesome. We have access to control panel from here. We don't have to do this funny thing where we go off to the side and then patiently wait for uh, what a pain in the neck. Anyway, we have access to all of our typical start menu options. Now, the true test here is to restart. We might see my Mac here, but let's see if it boots directly into the desktop. Come on, cross your fingers. Oh, Metro tried to come, but it was blocked. Nice. So, if you want to make Windows 8, <laughs> shall I say, usable, then this is the way to go. ClassicShell.SourceForge.net